and welcome the next lecture in queuing theory or queuing models and from this lecture we are going to start the poisson exponential single server model various topics relating to formula other concepts and calculations let us first discuss that what is exactly single server just imagine this kind of system this is a system where only one server is there that's why it is called single server uh, customer enters stands in a queue his or her turn comes and the server serves the customer and the customer exits from the system just imagine this kind of situation and as we know that number of arrivals follow poisson distribution and the service uh, time has exponential distribution these are the basic things in a single server model since we assume poisson arrivals and exponential service rate this is called poisson exponential single server model now on the basis of the previous three lectures we already know the concepts of lambda that is average arrival rate per t time interval mu that is the average service rate per t time interval uh, this is not p this is a greek alphabet rho this is p there is a slight difference actually p is say rather has been derived from rho but both are uh, different here rho means our arrival rate that is lambda upon mu or Uh, sorry utilization rate that is lambda upon mu or average arrival rate divided by average service rate that shows the um, capacity utilization and idle rate is 1 minus rho or 1 minus lambda by mu we know these things or other four things lambda mu utilization rate and idle rate now we are interested in calculate probability of exactly n customers in the system probability of exactly n customers in the system how to calculate let us suppose that n is 0 that means we want to calculate the probability of no customer in the system very simple thing no customer is actually idle rate so idle rate itself represents the probability of no customer in the system or probability of zero customers in the system equals to idle rate that is 1 minus rho that is 1 minus lambda by mu now if n is 1 that means we want to calculate probability of exactly one customer in the system the logic is utilization rate rho into probability of no customer that is idle rate okay so ultimately if we know the values of lambda and mu we can directly substitute the two values in this formula and calculate the probability of no customer in the system at a particular point of time now sorry one customer utilization rate multiplied by probability of no customer that is probability of exactly one customer in the system now try to understand the logic now we are interested in calculating probability of exactly two customers in the system since the derivation of the formula is not under the scope of our lectures we just take the derived result directly and probability of exactly two customers is utilization rate into probability of one customer now probability of one customer is utilization rate into probability of no customer so ultimately probability of exactly two customers in the system comes to utilization rate into utilization rate into probability of no customer yes these are two rho this is p i have to correct my p so ultimately it is nothing but utilization rate rest to 2 into idle rate say we are interested in calculating probability of exactly three customers in the system that is n is 3 again the derived part is 
utilization rate into probability of two customers that is utilization rate into utilization rate into probability of one customer that is utilization rate into utilization rate into utilization rate into probability of no customer so ultimately it is utilization rate rate raised to 3 when there we want to calculate probability of three customers into idle rate so ultimately we can derive a simple logic that the final formula of calculating exactly n customers in the system is utilization raised to n into probability of no customer or idle rate see in case of three customers the formula is utilization rate raised to 3 into probability of no customer or idle rate so ultimately if we have utilization rate as well as idle rate we can calculate the probability of any number of customers in the system from 0 to n and to have the knowledge about utilization rate and idle rate we just need to know the value of lambda that is average arrival rate and mu that is average service rate so we can conclude that to make calculations in case of queuing theory or queuing model the most important thing is knowledge about average arrival rate and average service rate so as a student you my friends you need to carefully find out the values of these two parameters lambda the average arrival rate mu the average utilization rate but before discussing the calculations in the next one or two lectures we are going to discuss formula for various types of calculations in case of Poisson exponential single server model so again all lectures are equally important but to attempt the calculations successfully in the examinations you need to go through the next one or two lectures invariably maybe more than once you have to watch them and understand the formula because in examinations to successfully attempt the problems or sums of queuing theory the most important thing is to learn to find out lambda as well as mu and to have the knowledge about various formulae that's it thank you very much